one of the largest classes in the history of the fellowship. It's the first year that a university has sponsored a fellow, and we have a few new media sites, and they're in places that we haven't gone before, like the Idaho Statesman and the Indianapolis Star. The mass media fellows are placed at newspapers, magazines, radio and TV stations, and multimedia outlets. So the AAAS program was really perfect for me. I'm a climate scientist by training. The opportunity to just get thrown into a newsroom for a couple months was exactly what I wanted. The teams in Nat Geo are really impressive. The photo team, the video team, the data visualization team, and of course all the other people working on the writing end of things. I recently graduated with my PhD in entomology from Washington State University. I've been interested in science communication for a long time, so this fellowship's really been great for me because it's helped me improve my science communication skills because it's allowed me to work at a prestigious news organization like NPR. And really one of the things that was attractive was this opportunity to work with media professionals and get this daily criticism and critiquing of my work so that I could become a better writer and a better science communicator. I specialize in infectious disease in my graduate work. I'm so thrilled to be placed at the Smithsonian because it's an outlet where I not only get to write about breaking science news and report on important scientific topics, but it's an incredibly creative outlet and I feel like it's been a very empowering experience to be able to let my own voice shine through in my pieces. Each year, the fellows impress me with how much they're able to accomplish in just 10 weeks. One fellow has published over 60 articles, and the stories get thousands to hundreds of thousands of readers, some as high as a million readers. They write about health, environment, technology, animals, basic science, and more. Most of the time, they're writing about science that will directly impact their readers' lives. Doing this full time for an entire summer has been incredibly humbling, but also incredibly empowering. Um, I think I'm learning a lot more than I have at any other point in my life. Working really closely with the photo and video teams has, has given me this incredible insight to how you tell stories that have this really clear visual impact. I can write quickly and clearly far better than I used to be able to. I am bolder when I ask questions of not only scientists, but people in the general public who care about these questions. Every day I'm going into the office, every day I'm writing, I'm editing, and so because of that, I've become a much better communicator. I've become a much more succinct writer. I just love this program. I think this program is so smart. It's really well run. A AAAS puts a lot of resources into it. The people who run it just pay a lot of attention to the fellows, to the placements, the publications where the fellows are working, uh, the funders. They're really smart about making connections and making sure that the right fellow is in the right place and that the fellowships are successful, that they're being productive, that they're getting the right feedback that they need. They train them well uh, before they come to their placements and they do really good training afterwards to sort of set them on their way in their new careers. And a lot of these fellows, the summer has, has changed their lives, changed their careers, and they've gone on to become really uh, successful and important science journalists thanks to this program. 